Welcome to this free lecture brought to you from my ZBrush Anatomy Complete Guide to Creating Realistic Anatomy in ZBrush. If you're interested in this course, then please find out more at the end of this lecture. Hi guys, so this uh, lecture is going to be the last lecture in what I have achieved to date. Now remember, I am. this is an absolutely huge course. I'm going to be doing it all over 2020. And, uh, and at the moment, it's the 5th of January. So all over this whole year, I'm going to be working on this and adding more and more content. So what we have at the moment is uh, getting set up in ZBrush. We've done the head basics. We've done the head measurements and planes, speedy workflows for base creation, anatomy, simplified and tools. This is really handy section. Um, our first sculpt where we'll be sculpting um, the head and then the head sculpting techniques and tips we've got the head refinement analysis we've got a head so we're going to do a young female version of a head then i'm going to move on to the body so i'm breaking this up into head body section body section is quite big because obviously there's a lot to cover so in the body section we've got anatomy reference we've got body gesture forms shapes and differences uh, we've got the body base mesh creation analysis base mesh modular primary and secondary forms and we've got anatomy custom brushes we'll be creating some custom brushes from scratch and some good tips in there for like things like pop-up palettes we've got the body torso breakdown so we're breaking the torso down that's the main central trunk of the body then we'll be moving on to the arms and doing a part breakdown of that then the legs break breakdown of that hands breakdown feet breakdown then we'll put it all together and i'll show you a raf grazetti style of creating a modular base mesh okay so then we're going to move on to actually um, using a technique that madeline spencer scott spencer um, has done for a male a body sculpt this is taken directly from a zbrush digital sculpting human anatomy book that she has out and i'll be following her general rules to work our way to a finished result there then i've got a second section on more advanced brushes and creating so we'll be creating actually alphas then i'm going to move on to um it's actually a time lapse of a lightness sculpt of henry cavill this is not finished this is stage one um, so as an introduction to the section two time-lapse videos this was done over six hours and these each of these uh, videos is about 20 minutes long okay so we've got 20 minutes 20 minutes that's 40 minutes the lecture you're looking at now is what's coming up and what we've got to do next is I'm going to be showing you my sculpting process male complete with head we're going to be doing a sculpting of a female complete with head male to female conversion we're moving to refinements of two sculpts and we will be doing lots of things to improve the sculpts now these methods can be used across all of what you've learnt to date uh, future sections to be added will be retopology uvs in detail layer control and morphing skin details alpha brush pack we'll create these from scratch we'll also be detailing and we'll be detailing hd so things like skin wrinkles pores and the texture we'll also be creating texture maps and we'll also be poly painting we'll be doing sculpted hair as well as fiber mesh styles and finally we'll be going rendering and map generation and after this there will then be full project going on so I'll be doing more lightness sculpts I'll be doing whole body sculpts I'll be doing detailed um, an, an anatomy of things like the hand in different positions we'll be doing posing there's going to be tons and tons of stuff over this year and I'm going to get through as much of it as I can obviously I'm taking requests from students as well so this is um, this is really important so what I do is I actually start from very basic shapes and then we start adding um, more detail into it so you're going to see the word base meshes used which are very simplified meshes for working our sculpting on top of now these are holders for it and I do show quite a few different ways to create different base meshes one using a sphere and dragging out one actually saying to you you can import a model from something like Maya or 3d max or blender and another way is to use Z spheres you could also use an already existing base mesh and you could also use mannequins as well so i show a lot of different methods for creating those base meshes to get you started on the anatomy okay so i'll see you and in the next lecture